On today's video, we're going to cover the shocks that BSB builds from the beginning to the end. We'll just cover them all so you know what we have. More on that when we come back. Hey, on this video, we're going to cover shocks that we build here at BSB, uh, the different series, uh, the links, the options that come with them, uh, just some things that are going on so you guys understand what we have. Uh, just clarify a few things, make it easier for you guys. Thank you. Let's get started on that. We'll start with our 10 series. Okay, our 10 series is a hobby stock style, pure stock, factory stock style shock. Um, it's stock mounted like they're supposed to be. And I'm going to explain this right off the video. All of our stuff is home body. Okay, our, every shock we build, home body. We do a surface treatment on the inside to make the wear band have less stiction, let it slide up and down in the tube better. Um, it, it just makes uh, it seal up better. We use um, a low drag seal. We use a urethane seal, cup seal. It seals better than an O-ring. It um, has less drag on it. Uh, we spend a lot of time on manufacturing and SPCN and developing the seal and tracking the uh, seal head. Um, so we do spend a lot of time on that. It's a very good piece. Billet pistons, billet uh, divider pistons, we're trying to create the most feel possible for the shock uh, for the driver. So every shock gets that that we build. So now we got that cleared up. We'll go through the series. 10 series. It comes in a 5 inch stroke uh, and a 4 inch body or a 5 inch stroke 5 inch body. Now the 5 inch 5 inch is standard size. That's standard size. Okay. From the top of the T-bar here to the end of the seal head on the four inch body is seven and five eighths and on the standard body it's eight and five eighths on the rears a seven inch stroke that's standard length in the knot wall series um, or basically not imca you can have a seven inch option you need to check with your rules to make sure that that's fair um, the metric cars are T-bar mounted. The Camaros are post mounted. Um, the Camaros, this comes with a half inch hole on the bottom and the Camaros come with a um, five eighths hole on the bottom. 12 series. 12 series is a small bore, inch and a half. Um, everything that we build is gonna be an inch and a half bore or uh, 46 millimeter. So six inch stroke, seven inch stroke, these are a steel threaded body shock, so the coilover kit goes right on the shock here. And it comes with a two coilover kits, inch and seven eighths, and a um, two and a half inch kit. The two and a half inch kit part number is 12990-18. 13 series, also a small body shock, has the expanded bulb on it, steel body, steel threaded body shock. Uh, this shock can come with some options. Uh, the 12 series can also come with an SRT option. Uh, this comes in a 6 inch stroke and a 7 inch stroke. Again, standard with the two kits. You can get a um, SRT option in this and you can get a base valve option in this. 15 series. Now the 15 series here is doing a large part of the work uh, for us because it spreads across multiple uh, classes. Um, very versatile shock, can be used in an A-mod, B-mod, street stock, stock car. Uh, so very versatile. It's used in uh, some of the 604 crate stuff, or 602 crate stuff with the coilover kit. Um, comes in a seven inch and a nine inch option in stroke lengths. Um, can have a base valve SRT piston in it. When we marry the two together, we call it an Elite. Um, it has the snap ring grooves in it for coilover kits. Um, like I said, it's a smooth body, so it fits the smooth body rules. 
Uh, unlike this shock, it is a multi-piece uh, repairable shock. 16 series. This is designed for them hard to please people that want to have rules that say you have to be in this body. Okay, Midwest Mods, it's not the same Midwest Mods that the Wissotas run. They can run a 15 series shock or a 20 series shock. This is the Midwest Mods through the Missouri area. Um, <clears throat> Mainly the Kansas City, uh, Kansas City area, uh, Jerry Hoffman's track over at uh, Springfield. They want to run this this type of shock rule. Uh, this is a sealed shock. It's non-repairable. Uh, comes in a seven-inch and a nine-inch stroke. Uh, One-piece body per the rules. It has what we call a Midwest seal head in it. So once it's sealed, uh, it's permanently locked-tighted in and we're not fixing them. So they're non-fixable. Midwest Mod uh, Shock, that's what that is in the 16 series. 20 series. 20 series was basically the first shock we built. Um, we started winning championships on this shock and 45, 46 championships later we still build the 20 series shock. It's a very good piece. Uh, the 15 series shock has maybe overshadowed this because of the rules but basically between the 15 and the 20, there's only difference is cap on the outside, cap on the inside. This one comes in a seven, a nine, and an 11 inch stroke. If you do get the 11 inch stroke, it comes with a five eighth shaft. Uh, and the options for this is SRT. Early on, we did some base valve stuff, but we are no longer doing base valves in this shock. Uh, 23 series is a 46 millimeter threaded body shock. Okay, I don't know that you can see it, but it's a threaded body shock um, in the 46 millimeter. It comes in a six inch, seven inch, and a nine inch stroke. The six inch stroke is used for um, mod light guys that want the big body shock. Uh, if you watch some of our big body versus small body videos, and I'll try to put a link in the bottom for that, uh, you know how we feel about this, but for you guys that want to do a big body shock in a mod light, here you go. This is a super good piece. Again, has all the stuff that BSB is known for, the honing, uh, the billets, the low drag. Um, you can get this with a two and a half inch kit or a five inch kit. Um, again, steel body threaded. Works good in the 602's, uh, 604 late model world. 25 series, okay, bulb shocks, um, steel body, comes in a seven inch and a nine inch stroke. Uh, it is the expanded uh, bulb. People often ask uh, which is better. Uh, the expanded bulb stuff does treat the oil column a little different, so it produces a different feel for, for the drivers, and honestly, they seem to like it. Uh, base valve, SRT option, put them together, it's called an Elite. Very good piece. Um, the base valve is trapped in there, so it's a three-piece body design. On the left rears, we have a one-piece body design, so for the IMCA rules where there's issues with um, fitment or have to push shaft in all the way, uh, there's no divider issues with that shock. So. Uh, 25 series, very good piece, um, very good piece for A mods, very good piece for stock cars. Uh, all around, this is a great piece if it fits your rules. Uh, 2512, a 2512 is a dual zone or a dual bleed shock. Okay, uh, I'll put a link in in the descriptions in the bios to so you can go look at and get a better understanding. This is a great shock, okay? And it's under, well, it's probably under publicized, um, but this is a great shock. These dual zone shocks give you all the bleed you need. Um, to, I mean, they give you all the, the rebound you need to get the car through the corner, and then you can come into a larger bleed area to get the car off the corner. 
So very good shock. We need to know center to center distance at right height to set the, the bleed height in these. Uh, again, it's just a very good piece for you guys to be using. So you should um, try to utilize it. It also comes in a 15 series uh, called the 1512. And we only do these in a 7 inch stroke. And you can get these with an SRT option. No base valve options. Um, let's not go down that path. Um, we are in the process of redesigning this one a little bit to give it better divider gas chamber um, qualities. But again, still very good piece. We should probably be use, utilizing them. A 1528 and a 2528. Um, here, these are high speed rebound adjustable shocks. They only come in a seven inch stroke right now. Uh, we're, we're, um, we are USR illegal for B mods in this shock and we will have a open eye. So USRA says we want this shock to be concealed. We don't want it to be where you can make an external adjustment with it on the car. You cannot. Okay. It looks just like a 15 series. Um, but the 25 series or if you're running in an open a mod class it will have a sweep eye on it it's not pictured with that but it will have a sweep eye on it. high speed adjustment in rebound is fabulous it's really good we have some videos on this shock you really need to understand the difference between high speed rebound adjustment and a low speed rebound adjustment this is a shaft uh, you know basically a shaft replacement and again it's just really super good for dirt a 60 series is a start of our threaded body aluminum stuff um, you know a lot of you will say I didn't know you do it aluminum but yes we do we haven't over marketed it because of availabilities to material but we are getting that ironed out so we are going to start pushing this it's a great shock for a late model class on a budget or um, you know the 602 guys 604 guys this is a great piece it comes in a seven inch and a nine inch stroke uh, and it has a two and a half inch coilover kit and the kit's very um, user friendly um, 60 series 61 series is a rebound adjustable um, low speed rebound adjustable shock um, it comes in a six and a seven inch stroke 62 series is a canister shock so it uh, comes in a seven and a nine inch choke it's uh, rebound compression if you've dealt with us on these shocks you know how i feel about the compression it's not uh, compression adjustment on shocks is is poor it's just poor um, it's it's not a real good adjustment so a lot of times when we do this shock, we might do rebound with a canister with a base valve. Uh, we do it for the gas volume, for the air, uh, oil volume, but we just literally don't put the compression adjuster on it because its purpose is so minimal, it's not worth owning. And when you start adjusting on it, it'll, it'll take the feel away from the car, so we just really don't get involved in that too much. Just call, we'll talk about it. And if it's something you feel like you really, really have to have, we'll get you taken care of. A 70 series is aluminum threaded body shock in a bulb, not adjustable. Uh, two and a half inch coilover kit comes in a seven inch stroke and a nine inch stroke. Uh, we do this for some of the big block guys back east. Um, it's if if you're going to do it on the right front of a um, late model with stack spring and a bump. And a short body then it, the bulb creates some issues because of the height of the bulb so it's just something that we have to discuss uh, to make sure that we can get it in there 71 series again it's the same thing rebound adjustable low speed so it has a needle in it um, most of the time if we're going to do a low speed we're going to do it with a split needle but we have needle options between a pointed needle about 60 degrees and an inverted needle. If you don't know what that is, uh, feel free to call us 
3152 at the shop and we'll discuss these um, options of needles for you um, like I said we're doing we're doing um, we're doing these shocks uh, for you guys to um, so you have options but we're doing them because we love I, man we, I just love doing shocks I'm not gonna lie this is my favorite part of the business uh, helping people with the shocks and building the shocks and seeing people go out when you know basically we're one of the smallest shock companies on the market we started in uh, we started our business 30 years ago but we started the shock stuff um, about 2010 and since then I think we're 45 we'll just call it 45 I'll post uh, update that for this year um, you know 45 national champions on our stuff you know I'm proud of that you know it's it, we've worked hard to get to where we're at and I feel like are we a big shot company no do we have that name that the big shot companies have you know no but we're earning it we're working towards it but we are putting our all of our efforts into the dirt market uh, we do some great asphalt stuff but we focused on the dirt market so when it comes to an A mod or a B mod and you're comparing us to the big boys I mean we have a great piece and sometimes we have a much better piece but th that's something that you're gonna have to determine but if you need help call we'll go through your car we'll do uh, a consultation um, set up consultation we'll determine the valving you need and we'll build shocks for your car and then we'll help you get that thing around the racetrack so if these videos are helping you uh, share and like these videos um, comment if you have any questions comment um, this is what helps grow our channel if I'm doing a good job uh, you'll stay to the end like this but like I said like and share help us grow our channel help us grow our company and like always go fast go left and God bless you and we'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.